that did everything. How you doing, Fire? This is Jim Nalbone from uh, Tampa. Me and Jonathan known each other five years. I'm here to visit them. Jim drove to ta from Tampa over here to Winter Garden to play with us, guys. You come, you can play. You yeah, get on the go. Channel. Subscribe. Yeah, everyone. Jim drove from Tampa. He's a friend of Jonathan Jorg. You guys have known him as Little Ben. Uh, he's on the channel all the time, and he had found his... Uh, buddy, his buddy looked for him on YouTube and found our channel and he lives in Tampa and hadn't seen Jonathan for over a year and so he drove over here and surprised him and you know what, if you guys come to Winter Garden, you can get on the channel and play. We love meeting the fans, we love meeting the people that are watching our channel. Uh, love you guys and love the support you give to us. So, welcome Jim, now you're going to lose. Time to go down. Jonathan over there. Jonathan did not have his paddle. He actually broke his Ben John's paddle. And so uh, he's playing with one of my demo paddles. I'm an Engage dealer and have been selling Engage for three or three years now. And uh, so I took advantage of him, you know, playing with a new paddle. So a good setup shot. I, I snuck in on him and caught him popping one up. Was able to put it down. Save there, Jim got saved me there, and there's that nice roll shot. Jonathan's got a very nice backhand roll. Roll it to the middle. That's a great spot to go when you're on that backhand side. Is just to roll it to the middle, uh, make the opposing teams um, fight over it. Right? They have to communicate, and you know, Justin and I did not. That's Justin Petru Petrulak on my side, and I'm the pickleball pirate. That's Jim and Jonathan Jorg on the other side. I'm not going to butcher yeah, Jim's last name, but we'll put it up on the – we had it up on the credits earlier. And that's something. Obviously, this is recreational play. We're not taking it too serious, but, you know, you never, you never want to miss serves. You're not going to win points on serves, so it's best just to get it in. Um, maybe try to be directional with it, but not try to put too much pressure on yourself on the serve. If you watch the pros, a lot of them don't put anything on their serves, and they just get it in. One to two. Yep, that one, a little bit of net action there. Justin almost got in the right spot to get it. You always want to try and get behind the ball so you can keep the ball in front of you when you hit it. It's 2-2. Two, two. Jonathan routinely hits at our face. No, I'm just joking. He doesn't do that on purpose, but because he's a shorter guy, um, he puts a lot of pressure on you because a lot of his shots are coming up. And he's got very fast hands. You see that I put some pressure on him, got a few pop-ups, and then he missed the put back there. Yeah. Just out. You know, a lot of times you're not going to try to attack from no man's land. Um, I was just actually just putting pressure on Jonathan, kept putting it back at him, making him do something with it. But that's dangerous because he could have put a lot of pressure on me had he got a hold of one, but I kept moving it around so he couldn't get any clean shots on it. Once again, I think that's a paddle fault. He's not used to that paddle. The Ben Johns Franklin is, is a little bit extended. It's a 16 and a half by, I believe, seven and a half paddle. So it's one of the longer paddles on the market. It's got a six inch handle. 
And so this, he's playing with an engaged poach with 16 by 8. You would think the half inch doesn't make a difference, but it makes a huge difference in the way the paddle plays. And the Ben Johns Franklin is a lot less forgiving. It's more of a, um, a player's paddle, right? You can put a lot of spin, you can put a lot of action on it, but your off-center shots, it's not as forgiving as um, some of the other paddles. Two to seven. This is late at night. We're um, it's about nine o'clock. We're all this is our last game of the evening. Um, and I got really lucky there. I popped that up. I was very casual coming to the net. When you come to the net, get up there. Get up to the net. Get set for your shot. If you're not going to make it up to the net, you need to stop and do your split step before the people hit the ball. So you're doing your split step. So you're actually in position to go any direction that they're going to hit the ball. It, Justin got stuck there. You, you, no matter what, you want to try to keep your momentum going forward or stop. If you're moving backwards on third shot, it is a lot harder shot to hit. Justin wants that one back. Uh, three, seven, one. Three to seven to one. Oh, too good. Too good. Three, seven, two. Three, seven, two. Yeah, Jonathan got me there. I had my paddle down. You always want to have your paddle up and ready. If you, your paddle's below your waist, you're in a bad position. The only time your paddle should be below your waist is if you're at potentially at the back line or at, um, at no man's land. And I was able to put that one away. I was on the white line. Okay, got it. And notice how the forehand there, I, I was coming over. I um, think that was out. Oh, nope, it was in. Good shot, Jonathan. See, that, that was dead from the start. So that at that point actually ended three shots earlier when I popped it up to Jonathan. So... You know, you always think you missed the last one. No, it's usually two or three shots ahead of time that you actually screwed up, and then the pressure gets put on you because you had a pop-up. Jonathan hit two, three shots in a row and finally got the put away because I missed the the first shot. Sets there, we could rally. Oh, come yep. on. Good job. That was team you know, I know Jonathan's team. game pretty well, so I, I'm pretty much expecting anything that's up above his waist, he's going to whack at it. And so I was able to get my paddle in place and put pressure on his partner, Jim. What happens when you can't see then? Yeah, and it's it is hard to see on these courts. I know the camera looks well lit, but these cameras have really good lenses on them and um, make it look brighter than it is. But uh, I wear glasses, Justin wears glasses, and we were struggling all night with seeing the ball. These courts need to be upgraded, uh, and I think that they're going to be doing that this year. You can see the tennis lines kind of bleeding through on a couple of things. They they replaced two tennis courts with six pickleball courts about four years ago. So they're, they're in, oh, in need of an upgrade. Oh, I was able to catch Jim standing a little bit more in the middle and I caught him on his offhand. Oh, Typically that forehand shot is not recommended, but he was, you know, hugging the middle a little bit too much. Oh, 
only do I play against Jonathan a lot, I watch all the film on That's Jonathan. Right. So. That's right, you know it's moved. I got lucky there. I popped it up. Jim didn't capitalize on it. But see how we're, me and Justin are letting the forehands take the middle? Like, you should always let the forehand take the middle. And You know what, guys? Thanks for watching. Jim, thank you for driving from Tampa. I uh, love having you on the channel, guys. Please subscribe and come play with us. See you on the channel.